That's great. Okay, so there's a, there's a beauty of turnkeys. So certainly there's there's an adv- there's an advantage to burrs in a lot of ways, and there's trade off, right? It requires right. you have a, a bigger team developed. You gotta you gotta as Jay was saying earlier, you've got to have your contractor well established, and you've got to understand you got to have a, a trusting relationship with them, and you got to find the right person so that you don't end up getting screwed, right? Uh, there's a, a few other things that you got to do. You got to put a little more time into it as well. Uh, turnkey, it's got its own trade offs, which is generally you you leave more money in. You're getting a, a, a lower cash on cash return, looking usually between ten to twenty percent instead of you know potentially infinite with Burr, but you spend less time doing it. And one of the nice things about uh, turnkey, one of my favorite things about turnkey, is because generally they're coming off of the MLS. You get an option period. And so in my offers, I submit an offer and my option period in my market is $50. So I'll, I'll submit the earnest money and everything. It's usually a thousand dollars earnest money or 1% of the purchase price, whatever that comes out to, and then $50 for option money. And so essentially what that $50 says is I'm paying $50 for nobody else to get to look at this property. And I get seven days, or if it's seven day option period, I get seven days to evaluate this and decide whether or not I want to hightail it or whether or not I want to commit to it. So that's what I do. I, I send in a bunch of different offers. If they say no, that's fine. There's more than enough options down the road. But if they say yes, then great. I can continue to evaluate it. So I look at, as, as I look at it that way, which is I'm paying $50. My, I don't consider earnest money until after I'm evaluating the property and I'm getting a little bit knee deep in it. Now, of course, you're, you're, you're doing this with some sanity, right? You've already run some numbers to, to know this has a pretty good option of working out, right? Like I, my numbers seem reasonable. You put in an offer and then you can go through and evaluate, do I want to schedule an inspection? And if you do, that's going to be, you know, 500 bucks, you know, 300 to 500 bucks, schedule the inspection. Then you go through it and you say, okay, well, I'll, I'll ask for $3,000. If they'll give me $3,000 credited or lower the price of the property, this will be a great deal, right? And that gives you essentially seven days to figure out do you want to do this property? And that's that's one of the, the awesome advantages of, of something that's coming off of the MLS. You get more time to evaluate whether or not you actually want that property. And sometimes it can cost as little as 50 bucks. 